From Hillsong United, welcome Joel Houston and Taya Smith. G'day, g'day. Yes, it's true. We are Australian as well. And uh, it's wonderful to be here. <laughs> It's almost what you could say as an Australian takeover. Yes. Um, yes. Long live the Kookaburra Awards. <laughs> Just kidding. Kookaburra's a bird. Dove's a bird. The joke was um, amazing. So anyway, it's fantastic to be here. Um, the category that we get to uh, present is Inspirational Film of the Year. It's young in comparison uh, to everything else. It was established in 2013. But consider the phenomenal growth of faith-based films during that time. And once discounted by Hollywood, they now stand toe-to-toe -to -toe in talent and production values. Entertainment publications continue to marvel at the box office success of Christian films, but we aren't surprised that audiences appreciate and embrace films that speak to their lives. The Dove Award for Inspirational Film of the Year is not based on financial success. It commends artistry within movies that have inspired, challenged, and encouraged you. And here are the nominees. Kookaburra. Inspirational film of the year. God's not dead too. A lot of people think we're crazy. Miracles from heaven. Who told you you'd be fine? The Messiah comes. Risen. Will be nothing. Until then. What frightened you? Being wrong. War Room. Lord, call us to battle. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. Woodlawn. Football. It is anger that unites us. Then let's use that anger to win for it. Touchdown, Woodlawn. Believable run by young Tony Nathan. And the Dove Award goes to... War Room. Hi! Uh, first, uh, Jesus is Lord. Absolutely. And uh, let's hear it for Priscilla Shire, who yeah. played the lead in War Room right there. And you just heard Michael Jr. We loved working with these guys. They are wonderful, wonderful people. We want to thank Provident Films and Affirm Films uh, for their support of dis uh, distributing these movies. Our families, our children, our wives, Christina and Jill. Christina's my wife, Jill, Stephen's wife, and they've supported us so much. Our, our praying parents, guys, pray for your children. Our parents laid the groundwork for years for us. And whatever you do, uh, lay that groundwork in prayer. Not a prayer, but a season of prayer. It, it truly is a powerful weapon. Jesus began the power of his ministry because the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And everything good about any of our films we know is because of the Lord. And War Room was dedicated to God from the beginning. We had over 75 churches across racial and denominational lines partnering and praying for us. Thousands of people were praying. And so I want to challenge you, get anything out of your life that grieves the Holy Spirit and ask him to fill you every day and watch God do great things through your life.